A Course in Miracles, Text, Chapter 18, The Dream and the Reality, Section 2, Substitution as a Defense. You who believe that God is fear made but one substitution. It has taken many forms because it was the substitution of illusion for truth, of fragmentation for wholeness. It has become so splintered and subdivided and divide it again over and over, that it is now almost impossible to perceive it once was one, and still is what it was. That one error, which brought truth to illusion, infinity to time, and life to death, was all you ever made. Your whole world rests upon it. Everything you see reflects it, and every special relationship which you have ever made is part of it. You have expressed surprise at hearing how very different is reality from what you see. You do not realize the magnitude of that one error. It was so vast and so completely incredible that from it a world of total unreality had to emerge. What else could come of it? Its fragmented aspects are fearful enough as you begin to look at them. But nothing you have seen begins to show you the enormity of the original error, which seemed to cast you out of heaven, to shatter knowledge into meaningless bits of disunited perceptions, and to force you to further substitutions. That was the first projection of error outward. The world arose to hide it and became the screen on which it was projected and drawn between you and the truth. For truth extends inward, where the idea of loss is meaningless, and only increase is conceivable. Do you really think it's strange that a world in which everything is backwards and upside down arose from this? It was inevitable, for truth brought to this could only remain within in quiet, and take no part in all the mad projection by which this world was made. Call it not sin, but madness, for such it was, and so it still remains. Invest it not with guilt, for guilt implies it was accomplished in reality, and above all, be not afraid of it. When you seem to see some twisted form of the original error rise to frighten you, say only, God is not fear, but love, and it will disappear. The truth will save you. It has not left you to go out into the mad world and so depart from you. Inward is sanity. Insanity is outside you. You but believe it is the other way, that truth is outside and error and guilt within. Your little senseless substitutions, touched with insanity and swirling lightly off on a mad course like feathers dancing insanely in the wind, have no substance. They fuse and merge and separate in shifting and totally meaningless patterns which need not be judged at all. To judge them individually is pointless. Their tiny differences in form are no real differences at all. None of them matters. That they have in common, and nothing else. Yet, what else is necessary to make them all the same? Let them all go, dancing in the wind, dipping and turning till they disappear from sight, far, far outside you, and turn you to the stately calm within, where in holy stillness dwells the living God you never left and who never left you. The Holy Spirit takes you gently by the hand and retraces with you your mad journey outside yourself, leading you gently back to the truth and safety within. He brings all your insane projections and your wild substitutions which you have placed outside you to the truth. Thus, he reverses the course of insanity and restores you to reason. In your relationship, where he has taken charge of everything at your request, he has set the course inward to the truth you share. In the mad world outside you, nothing can be shared but only substituted, and sharing and substituting have 
nothing in common in reality. Within yourselves, you love each other with a perfect love. Here is holy ground in which no substitution can enter and where only the truth about each other can abide. Here you are joined in God as much together as you are with Him. The original error has not entered here, nor ever will. Here is the radiant truth to which the Holy Spirit has committed your relationship. Let Him bring it here, where you would have it be. Give Him but a little faith in each other to help Him show you that no substitute you made for heaven can keep you from it. In you, there is no separation, and no substitute can keep you from each other. Your reality was God's creation and has no substitute. You are so firmly joined in truth that only God is there, and He would never accept something else instead of you. He loves you both, equally and as one, and as He loves you, so you are. You are not joined together in illusions, but in the thought so holy and so perfect that illusions cannot remain to darken the holy place in which you stand together. God is with you, my brothers. Let us join in Him in peace and gratitude and accept His gift as our most holy and perfect reality, which we share in Him. Heaven is restored to all the sonship through your relationship, for in it lies the sonship, whole and beautiful, safe in your love. Heaven has entered quietly, for all illusions have been gently brought unto the truth in you, and love has shined upon you, blessing your relationship with truth. God and his whole creation have entered it together. How lovely and how holy is your relationship with the truth shining upon it. Heaven beholds it and rejoices that you have let it come to you, and God himself is glad that your relationship is as it was created. The universe within you stands with you, together, and heaven looks with love on what is joined in it, along with its Creator. Whom God has called should hear no substitutes. Their call is but an echo of the original error which shattered heaven. And what became of peace in those who heard? Return with me to heaven, walking together out of this world, and through another to the loveliness and joy the other holds within it. Would you still further weaken and break apart what is already broken and hopeless? Is it here that you would look for happiness? Or would you not prefer to heal what has been broken and join in making whole what has been ravaged by separation and disease? You have been called together to the most holy function that this world contains. It is the only one which has no limits and reaches out to every broken fragment of the sonship with healing and uniting comfort. This is offered you in your holy relationship. Accept it here, and you will give as you have accepted. The peace of God is given you with the glowing purpose in which you join. The holy light that brought you together must extend as you accepted it.